A very warm welcome to you if today is your first time stopping by. Today I share with you my melon seed soup. Let's do this together. I remember way back home after Christmas like this, my mom would prepare chicken soup, which is light soup, or a chicken uh, melon soup with chicken or peanut soup with chicken. But today, I am going to prepare grass cutter, a crantier fresh one soup. But I'm going to use melon seed. So these are my ingredients all the ingredients will be in my description box with the amount that i use i have my green seasoning my garlic tomato paste ginger and garlic paste pepper tomatoes onion my snails that's my snails i have this is the melon seed chopped onions dry fish all the way from Afram place and my G Awarie. This is my Miss Spice seasoning. So now I've washed my grass cutter very nicely and that is it. My fresh grass cutter. I added one tablespoon my homemade seasoning. Then a little bit J Awarie. Then I added all my ingredients as well. If today is your first time passing by, a very warm aqua to you once again. Please feel free to subscribe if you've not done so and turn on the notification bell so that each time I post, you'll be first to know. And to all my subscribers, thank you all so, so much. God really bless you. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas. We thank God. So I added everything as I said, added a little bit of water. Yes, then off into my stove. But I wanted to put one carrot, so I just slice it and add it to my. So this is my melon seed. Normally you get dirt like that, it needs stones and the bad ones. So I picked everything out, and this is what I got. Yeah so my meat is doing well and now it's my rare i'm going to fry it for about five to ten minutes but be careful when you are frying it don't let it be brown if it gets brown your soup will be bitter because it means that it has burnt so what i normally do is when i hear that it becomes to pop out like popcorn you hear that noise you just put in cold water to stop the cooking process after that we are going to blend the melon seed so with my soup my soup is doing good but i don't want my pepper to scatter around so i'll just take the pepper out then stir it proper so that the seasonings will penetrate in my meat or go everywhere on my meat then i'll cover it for another three minutes before i come back to take my tomato and onion so yeah this has been blended very nicely and this is how we do it we sieve it because there is a more chaff in it i don't need the chaff in my soup so i have to get the chaff out by doing it this way so you see i'm going to blend it one more time i would like to take this opportunity to say thank you to everyone who has been on this journey with me from 1st december till today 27th december god really bless you all god bless you so this is the second time i blend it here then i will sieve it but i'm going to sieve it again yeah, unfortunately, I didn't video this part. I didn't even know that my camera didn't video. So, yeah, I sieve it again, but I used the cheesecloth because I wanted the chaff to come out very well. I don't want to eat soup with chaff. So, yeah, that was my turkey berry I showed you. 
I'm going to add my onions and my pepper, carrots, tomatoes, then blend those together as well. My first lemon seed soup I made, I blend it and strain it straight away into my soup and it was fantastic but this time around i decided to go this way by boiling it as you can see me because people were saying that if you don't boil it this way before pouring your soup will becomes like when you're making egg stew or you're making a uh, lemon seed stew stew but i never had that experience both of them turn out to be good so i don't think next time i'll boil before pouring i'll go for my first one yeah putting it straight away so any how you find yourself in you can make it it's fine you know sometimes when somebody is saying something you have to try it and see experience it yourself and know how it is so yeah i saved my blend ingredients as well my tomatoes ginger turkey berry and i added it to my steamed grass cutter so now i'm going to add my bold melon seed soup that's the juice that i got from the melon seed yeah so i added everything then i stir very nicely and it was doing fantastic well so yes i will add a little bit water then cover it for it to cook proper So this is it. It's doing great. I'm now going to add some kwakushito to bring more heat to my soup. You know me and my pepper, yes. So yeah, the later one I'll add my fish, which is the dry fish. And this dry fish was so big that when I was putting it in, the soup wanted to come out. So I would just scoop a little bit of the soup, put it aside like when you're doing palm nut soup we normally do then later on when it simmer a little bit i will bring it back to the soup yeah i normally love my soup to be thick so if my one is thick please lighten yours just add a little bit water and your one will be a little bit light but me i like thick soup so normally i can use it to eat rice Kukwente, yam and everything that's why my soups are always thick so don't worry about it if you feel like eating a light soup just reduce your ingredients or or add more water to it so as i always tell you as definitely my fufu will be very ready so now it has simmer a little bit and i'm bringing the one that i scoop out and add it to it yeah so i'll cover it for about five minutes then turn up it's ready 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 once again if you've not subscribed what are you waiting for please click click on the subscribe button and join this amazing and wonderful family also don't forget to turn on your notification bell thank you so much for being with me today i will see you in my next video bye bye